You may be seated. Welcome to Washburn University and to the 111th graduation ceremony of Washburn University School of Law. I am Aida Alica, the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs for the Law School. I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. See, beginning at my immediate right, they are Dr. Randy Pembroke, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Washburn University. Jalen Lowry, Law School alumna and Associate Dean for Student Affairs of the Law School. Sabrina Standifer, Law School alumna and Chair of the Washburn University School of Law Alumni Association. John McGivern, Vice Chair, Board of Regents. Paul Hoferer, Law School alumnus, Board of Regents member, and past president of the Washburn University School of Law Alumni Association. Terry Beck, Law School alumnus and Board of Regents member. Blanche C. Parks, Board of Regents member. William Sneed, Law School alumnus and Chair, Board of Regents. John Hamilton, Law School alumnus, honorary degree recipient, and our speaker this evening. Thomas Romig, Dean of the Law School, and Dr. Jerry Farley, President of Washburn University. For the faculty and staff of Washburn Law, this is a somewhat bittersweet day. We remember how just three years ago, most of you, the members of the class of 2016, were filled with anticipation as you prepared to commence the study of law. And just one year ago, we welcomed Washburn's second class of LLM students. Seems like time's gone by really quickly. Today, you are almost prepared to commence the practice of law. You have only one hurdle left before you join the ranks of Washburn, law, Washburn Law's successful alumni. That hurdle, of course, is the bar exam. We know that if you study hard and approach it the way you will approach your future practice of law, you too will be successful and you too will be practicing law very shortly. Your journey to this day required hard work and dedication, but I know that you've made lasting friendships with Washburn Law faculty and staff, as well as your colleagues as you have worked to attain the skills and values of the profession. Your journey to this day had its share of laughs, if the skits at the Bar Review are any indication. You had some fun while you were here. Now, after working so hard and achieving so much, you should be filled with pride and excitement as you move on with your professional lives. This is a day of celebration. This is your day. I know I speak for all of the faculty, my fellow administrators, all of the law school staff, the university, the Board of Regents, our special guests, and your family and friends who are here with you today in offering our congratulations on a job well done. Although we will miss you, we wish you the very best in your careers and personal lives. We could not be more proud of you. Please keep in touch. We are always happy to hear from you. I would now like to introduce to you the Associate Dean for Student Affairs, Jalen Lowry. Dear class of 2016, congratulations on reaching this great milestone. It's exciting to see all of you on the verge of transitioning from students to colleagues. I have the pleasure tonight of introducing your president of the Washburn Bar, Student Bar Association, Mr. Andrew Hamline. Mr. Hamline, before you begin your remarks, 
your graduating class and the WSBA would like to present to you this presidential gavel and thanks for your service on their behalf. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Lowry. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, faculty, and staff. First, I am honored to stand here before you to represent this class of graduates. It's with a heavy heart that our class comes here today, because far too early in our law school career, our class lost one of its brightest stars, Jason Keeley. Jason was a graduate from Washburn, graduating magna cum laude, before beginning law school with us. His intelligence, humor, enthusiasm, and goodwill were immediately recognized here by his classmates and the professors. On a personal note, Jason was one of the first people from the other section that I met. For those of you that may not be familiar, it's entirely possible to go through your entire first year without knowing someone from the other section. But it seemed Jason was determined to have that not happen. His joy and enthusiasm were immediately apparent to myself and others as he befriended many from day one in the commons. Tragically, Jason suddenly died on September 21st, 2013 from a heart attack caused by an undiscovered heart defect. Our class lost a bright star that day, but I'm proud that we have a chance to honor him today as we graduate. Though his time with us was short, his impact was profound, and he will always be remembered by his class. I'd like to invite forward Debbie, Debbie Keeley, Jason's mother. It's my privilege to present you with a gavel honoring Jason from our class. It's impossible to go through graduation without acknowledging the tremendous growth that has occurred over the past three years for each of us graduates. For many of us, that growth continues. And to my classmates who have endured many an endless story from me, I promise I'll try and keep this short. From the first days of being thrown into the fire of learning torts, we each brought a unique perspective to every situation. And from the very beginning, we willingly shared that perspective with each other. And though we may hope to forget the cold calls, the stress of the first year memo, and the dread of exams, I'm confident that we won't forget the unbelievable friendships we've formed here at Washburn. This law school fosters these relationships. From Dean Romig and Dean Lowry to the entire staff and the professors, our class has been supported by wonderful mentors who have constantly encouraged us as we found our voice in the legal community. While we've all come a long way in the last three years, it would all be impossible without the relationships beyond this law school. And it's a privilege to finally have you here to join us today. Law school is a wonderful experience, but it can be an arduous one. Each of you have helped us graduate in ways that we cannot count. We recognize that loving a law student is a special form of sacrifice. And we will be eternally grateful for you sticking with us through this experience. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you have done. And now, it's my honor to present the William O. Douglas Professor of the Year and Adjunct Professor of the Year Awards. These awards are voted on by the graduating class and give us the opportunity to recognize the outstanding instructors who have challenged and inspired us throughout our law school experience. Fittingly, our class had a hard time deciding from the many professors who have shaped our experience here at Washburn, as we have a tie for both 
the Professor of the Year and Adjunct Professor of the Year. For Professors of the Year, our class would like to recognize Professor Amy Westbrook and Professor Emily Grant. Professor Westbrook. <laughs> professor Westbrook is the Kurt Sager Memorial Distinguished Professor of International and Commercial Law. Professor Westbrook teaches several business law and securities regulation classes and is co-director of the Business and Transactional Law Center here at Washburn. Professor Emily Grant teaches legal analysis, research, and writing, and decedents, estates, and trusts, and is co-director of the Institute for Law, Teaching, and Learning. It is my privilege to present both of you the Douglas Award for Professor of the Year on behalf of our class. It is also my honor to present the Adjunct Professor of the Year to Leland Rolfs and Mickey Brazel. Professor Rolfs, <laughs> Professor Rolfs, who previously worked with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, teaches water rights and is involved in private consulting. Professor Brazel, who previously worked with the Shawnee County District Attorney's Office, now works in private practice and teaches juvenile law and pretrial advocacy. It is an honor to present both of you with the award for Adjunct Professor of the Year. Thank you all again for your support in making our law school experience wonderful. And we look forward to making you all proud as we pass the bar and begin the journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hamline. Speaking on behalf of the Washburn University School of Law Alumni Association, is graduate and chair of the Alumni Association Board of Governors, Sabrina Standifer. Good evening. On behalf of the Washburn University School of Law Alumni Association, congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. This celebration marks the completion of your studies and the beginning of your careers as a lawyer, not just a lawyer, but a Washburn lawyer. As a Washburn graduate, you're going to join more than 7,200 alumni located around the world. Your degree opens the door to so many opportunities. As a private practice attorney, such as myself, in government service, as an attorney in-house within a corporation, or as a politician, and that's just to name a few. As a lawyer, your clients will rely on you for your advice. They are going to trust you with their freedom and their finances. I have always said that attending Washburn Law was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I get to do tr work that I truly enjoy, that is satisfying, and that is challenging. I can actually remember sitting where you are tonight and having such a feeling of a mixture of emotions. Happiness, relief, dread of the bar exam, <laughs> pride, and being grateful that my family and friends were here with me to celebrate. The Alumni Association presents various awards each year, and when accepting their awards, recipients often talk about what a difference Washburn Law School has made in not only their lives, but the lives of their families. We truly have an amazing institution. Since opening its doors in 1903, Washburn Law has consistently graduated some of the finest lawyers in the country. Lawyers who set the highest standards for excellence in legal skills, ethical character, and leadership. As a matter of fact, one of our alums is here tonight from the class of 1966. This golden alum 
is celebrating his 50th Washburn Law School reunion, and we are honored that he has joined us. I would like to recognize him and ask him to stand from the class of 1966, Kent Smith. As Mr. Smith will tell you, you will encounter many challenges throughout your career. Meet those challenges with character and professionalism. When you leave here, remember that as you meet people, you are representing the legal profession and Washburn, and it is up to each of you to make a positive impression. I also hope that you will remember to pay it forward and help those students coming after you here at Washburn. That's why I'm here tonight, and you will find that spirit in your fellow Washburn alumni. Be an ambassador for the law school. Recommend prospective students. Come back and serve as a guest lecturer. I hope that you will join and become active in the Alumni Association. Your involvement will help Washburn Law continue to grow and will ensure that future classes will be proud to join you as an alum. Tonight, your Law School Alumni Association will be giving you a bronze medallion bearing the Washburn seal. We hope this token will remind you that you now represent the tradition of excellence carried on by more than 100 years of Washburn lawyers. Again, on behalf of the School of Law Alumni Association, our best wishes to you for a long and successful career. And now it is my privilege to introduce the Dean of our law school, Thomas Romig. Thank you very much, Sabrina. Well, good evening, and welcome to the 111th graduation ceremony of Washburn University School of Law. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the law school, congratulations to you, the class of 2016. This is truly a time for celebration. Each of you has worked very hard to reach this moment, and you should be justly proud of your achievement. I hope you take time to reflect on how far you have come in the past three years. I also hope you take time to thank those who, who helped you reach this grand moment, your family and friends who supported you throughout this journey, and the law school faculty and staff who provided you the instruction and guidance while you were here. Every class that passes through the halls of our law school is special in its own way. And this is certainly true of your class, the class of 2016. Your class has two Master, Master of Laws degree recipients, which is twice the number we had last year, and this is only the second year of the program. Your class has 16 members who have relatives who are Washburn Law graduates, and several of you have relatives, multiple relatives, who are Washburn Law alumni. During your time at Washburn Law, there have been four students in your class who have been married or gotten engaged, and there has been one baby born to a class member. Now, this last category of marriages and births is significantly lower than last year. There were something like 20-some babies and, I don't know, 15 or 18 marriages. Well, this leads me to conclude one of two things. Either our facts are not correct, or that your class has been much more studious than last year's <laughs> class. I suspect it's the latter. In your time at Washburn Law, you not only have worked hard to both in and out of the classroom, but many of you have been involved in organizations and activities in, that have contributed in so many ways to the life of the law school community. And while you were here, you have made friends that will truly last you for a lifetime. This ceremony recognizes that you not only have earned a highly respected degree, 
but you also have transitioned into the profession of law. This will distinguish you for the rest of your lives. You will be lawyers, Washburn lawyers, and there will be many opportunities that will be open to you. And as you find, there are many interesting and important things you can do with your law degree. You have the skills and the ability to analyze issues, organize, and effectively communicate your thoughts and to solve problems. These are skills needed almost everywhere in our society, and they will serve you well in any situation. In short, you have learned to think like lawyers. In a few moments, you'll become part of one of the great traditions of the legal profession. You will join the distinguished line of Washburn Law graduates. As you go forward from here, you will begin to add to the legacy and the reputation of Washburn Law School. And you will learn the true reputation of Washburn Law School is our alumni. So be proud of your lineage, serve your profession, and our great law school well. Now as you set out on your careers, a final word of advice from your old dean. Make sure you have balance in your life. It was important in law school, and it will become even more important as you go forth in your career. Just remember, there is no record of anyone on their deathbed uttering these final words. Gee, I wish I had spent more time in the office. Now it is my honor and privilege to introduce this year's commencement speaker, John R. Hamilton. The commencement program has John's biography, and rather than repeat that, I'm going to cover some of the highlights of his distinguished career. John graduated with a Bachelor of Sciences degree in economics from Union University in Jackson, Tennessee in 1962. He earned his Juris Doctor degree from Washburn University School of Law in 1965. John has practiced in Topeka for 51 years where he has established himself as an expert in the areas of eminent domain and condemnation law. He also specialized in personal injury and trial practice. He is now a senior partner with Hamilton, Laughlin, Barker, Johnson, and Jones. John has authored chapters on eminent domain practice and procedure, both in the Kansas Real Estate Practice and Procedure Handbook and the Kansas chapter for the American Bar Association publication, Law and Procedure of Eminent Domain in the 50 States. John is listed in Ingram's Best Lawyers in America in the field of eminent domain. He has also been named a super lawyer, which is a distinction that recognizes him as one of the top 5% of all attorneys in Kansas and Missouri in the field of eminent domain. John is a member of the Topeka, Kansas, and American Bar Associations, and as a member of the Kansas Association of Justice, he was on their Board of Governors from 1975 to 2009 and was their Vice President for Legislation in 1981. John has served on the Washburn University School of Law Alumni Association Board of Governors since 2011. Please join me in welcoming a distinguished graduate and a tremendous supporter of Washburn University School of Law and your commencement speaker, John R. Hamilton. Thank you very much, Dean Romick. I'd like to thank Dean Romick, President Farley, and the Board of Regents for giving me this honor and giving me the opportunity to say a few words. I want to congratulate the Washburn Law class of 2016. Everyone's always happy at commencement time. The students are happy that they're finally finished with their classroom work and looking forward to the bar and the practice. The faculty's happy because they're getting rid of the students. And the parents are generally pretty pleased because their sons and daughters will finally join the workforce. You have obviously made some very good choices in your decisions regarding education and career opportunities. The last two thirds of your life will be much better as a result of those choices. 
Most of the people who make poor choices about education have fewer opportunities in the rest of their life. Neither of my parents went beyond the eighth grade. That was fairly common in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. My mother was orphaned at two, and she was raised by her brother and had to quit school after the eighth grade to work in a family grocery store. My dad also quit work and finished in the eighth grade and went to work on the family farm. But my parents later learned the benefits of a good education. They encouraged all of us kids to go to school and get an education. I was the youngest of five. I grew up on a small vegetable farm outside of Augusta, Kansas. And I was, uh, my oldest brother was the, was the first one to go to college. But when he graduated in the spring of 1941 from high school, he went to work in the oil field as a roughneck. I don't know what a roughneck does, but I know it's hard work. And then they had an early fall, an early winter in the fall, and it was pretty cold. And he told this story later that there was some guy sitting in a 36 Ford with a motor running. And every now and then he'd get out and go over and check on things and come back and get in his car. So he asked the foreman, who is that guy? And he said, well, that's the engineer. But his, his work came to an end because of World War II. Pearl Harbor was bombed December 7, 1941. He joined the Army Air Corps, uh, became a second lieutenant, and a bomber there on a, on a B-17 bomber. He was shot down over Germany in 1943 and bailed out, survived, became a prisoner of war, and had a couple years in German prison camp to think about what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. He was 19 years old when he was shot down. When he got out, he decided he should go to college and he wanted to be an engineer. He finally ended up with a PhD in electrical engineering. My brother, just older than me, went to, uh, went to the, uh, Wichita State University, at the time it was Wichita University, and then OU and got a, a master's degree in mechanical engineering. My sister received a paralegal science degree, and I received a JD from Washburn in 1965. I had one brother that decided that school was not for him, and he found that his opportunities were much more limited later in life. I know that you'll have a much more rewarding life if you get a good education, as you have, uh, and Rewarding life does not necessarily mean economic rewards, although that will follow. It means social rewards as well. You'll be better accepted in the community. You'll have a different social fr uh, set of friends. You'll have economic stimulus. And you'll be able to support your family in a better fashion. Some of the lawyers that I have encountered have, some of the best lawyers I have encountered have mastered the art of civility. You can effectively represent your clients while treating opposing counsel and opposing clients with courtesy and respect. Unfortunately, a few lawyers, and it's very few, have decided that rudeness equals effectiveness. And those lawyers are not very well received by their colleagues. They are wrong and I think at some point, most of them realize that civility is a lost art, but is important. I know that most of you are the graduating class or the generation that grew up with emails, smartphones, tech messages, and laptops, uh, but it is, essential, it is essential that you remember that the, it's hard to communicate directly with clients and opposing counsel by text and emails. It's important to remember that oral communication should not be a lost art. Fifty-one years ago, I was sitting in your position, although at a different venue. The graduation was scheduled to be in Moore Bowl, 
but instead it was, it was held at uh, downtown the Performing Arts Center because of a, a heavy rainstorm that came through. At that time, I'd just finished my classes. The, the, the law school was in Carnegie Hall then, and Lee Arena did not exist. There was, actually we had student married housing in this area. And that, the student housing was row after row of old army barracks moved in after World War II. And there were about four or five apartments in each building. And there was a street dividing the two buildings. I walked out of the uh, married housing the last day for my last final. And I happened to meet up with a classmate named J. Don Reynolds, who later became a district judge in Ford County. And J. Don and I walked up together, and he asked me what I was going to do after law school. I said, well, I'd like to stay in Topeka, but I don't have a job here. I have an offer in Wichita and one in Kansas City. And he said, well, you know, the Crane, Martin, Clausen, and Ashworth law firm needs a lawyer to work with Harry Crane on eminent domain cases. And J. Don told me that he'd clerked for that firm. I asked him why he wasn't going to take the job, and he said he had a military obligation due to being an ROTC cadet during his undergraduate time. Fortunately, I had finished my military obligation by then. So at, immediately after the final, I called Harry Crane. I went down. He interviewed me and hired me, and I became an eminent domain lawyer. Harry Crane was probably the premier eminent domain lawyer in the state of Kansas. And also, for those that are old enough to remember, was a very strong political force in the state of Kansas. My practice has primarily been eminent domain since that time, representing property owners who have their property acquired, and I try to help them get just compensation for the taking of their property. And you know, it was a real coincidence that I happened to walk out at the very moment that J. Don Reynolds was walking by. Otherwise, I would probably have ended up in Wichita or Kansas City with an entirely different type of practice. So coincidences will dictate a lot of what happens during your lifetime, both in your profession and your personal life. A lot of hard work and some good luck also will help along the way. But one thing I've never forgotten, and that is the institution that gave me the education and the tools to practice law. And I would urge that all of you remain in the alumni Washburn Law School Alumni Association, uh, e even after your one-year complimentary membership expires, and always remember Washburn. I want to give you my best wishes to each of you as you embark on a rewarding career in the legal profession. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Regents, be it known that in as much as honorary degrees are awarded to men and women who, because of scholarly contributions, meritorious public service, or other noteworthy achievements, have come to universal high regard, the Board of Regents of Washburn University does therefore confer upon Mr. John Hamilton the degree of Doctor of Law with all the rights privileges, and insignia pertaining thereto. In testimony whereof, this diploma is issued with the signatures of the President and the Chair of the Board of Regents and the seal of the University affixed at Topeka, Kansas on the 14th day of May, 2016. John, for your leadership, your support of higher education, and your dedication to helping others, Washburn University honors you and itself by conferring upon you this honorary degree. 
In token thereof, I cause you to be vested with the Doctor of Law academic hood and grant you this diploma. Congratulations. Will the candidates will the candidates for the Master of Law degrees please stand up? Is this on? Dean Romig, President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Laws degrees for the class of 2016. President Farley, the candidates before you are expected to complete all requirements for the Master of Laws degree and have been recommended by the Faculty of Law. I am pleased to present them to you now for conferring of their degrees. Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the degree Master of Law with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. As a symbol of your great accomplishment, please move your tassel from the left side to the left side at this time. Please come forward to re receive your diplomas. Nabil Altik Aliyawi. Yuzu Chai. Will the candidates for the Juris Doctor degree please rise? Dean Romig, President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Juris Doctor degree of the class of 2016. President Farley, the candidates before you and in absentia have completed or are expected to complete all requirements for the Juris Doctor degree and have been recommended by the Faculty of Law. I am pleased to present them to you now for the conferring of their degrees. 
Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority granted in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the degree Juris Doctorate with all the honors, the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities pertaining thereto. As a symbol of your great accomplishment, please move your tassel to the left side at this moment. Congratulations. Please come forward as directed to receive your diploma. Honors announced at this ceremony are preliminary. Benjamin Thomas Adams. Candace Avis Alcarez. Jake Kobe Allison, Dean's Honors. Lauren Elizabeth Amrine. Jeffrey Kenneth Aubrey. Justin Thomas Balbeers. Susan Elaine Bandy. <laughs> Kayla Marie Bennett, Dean's Honors. Laureline Annette Boatwright. <laughs> Whitney Page Bolden. Aaron Christopher Boswell. <laughs> Destiny Lee Bounds, cum laude. Bronson Geronimo Brassel. <laughs> Anthony John Bruna. Cody Seeger Burton, Dean's Honors. Brandon D. 
Daniel Cameron. Benjamin Kenneth Arthur Carmichael, Dean's Honors. Robert Miller Chipman, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jenna Lee Christopher. Anna Marie Victoria Chunduk. David Gabriel Cohn. Dean's Honors. <laughs> Justin Grant Cook, cum laude. <laughs> Evan John Dahl. Jorge Michael De Hoyos. Jared Lee Denton. Sarah Marie Dietz. Joel Henry Driscoll, cum laude. Victoria Lynn Johnson Eck, Dean's Honors. Thomas Scott Ellis. Rachel Mary Kemrick Fisher, Dean's Honors. Michelle Elizabeth Marie Foster, Dean's Honors. Katie Lynn Girth. Andrew Ryan Hamline. Lucy Cornelia Hess. Meredith Jan Hogan, Dean's Honors. Kimberly Eileen Hurt.
Morgan Page Johnson. <laughs> Seth Caleb Jones. Brandon John Cott, Dean's Honors. Brian Ross Kelly, Dean's Honors. Michael James Katowski. Christopher Joseph Cuckelman. <laughs> Melissa Ray Leach. Ricardo Leal, De Dean's Honors. <laughs> Blair William Loving. Margaret Mary Lures, Dean's Honors. <laughs> Michael Timothy Lugris. Anna Michelle Mark, cum laude. Nathaniel Travis Martins, Dean's uh, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher Brian Malden. Robert Jack McFadden, summa cum laude. Samuel Jordan Milholland. <laughs> Kevin Edward Miller, magna cum laude. Amy Michelle Molina. Marissa Catherine Morgan.
Monica Jane Mori. Hannah Renee Norman. Daniel Obermeyer. Connor Hall O'Malley, Dean's Honors. Richard Joseph Parks. Ryan Bates Peterson. Dean's Honors. Martin Joseph Fannensteel. <laughs> Kayla Faye Phillips. Robert Joseph Pilgrim. <laughs> Andrea Lee Plunkett. John Colin Reynolds, Dean's Honors. Brock Donald Yoland Raylor. Jan Lee Rowlett, Dean's Honors. Halston Von Rucker. Logan Michael Schultz, Dean's Honors. Maggie Lynn Sigler, Dean's Honors. Damon Jesse Simmons. Daniel Caleb Smith, Dean's Honors. Nicole Renee Southall. Stephen J. Stocks.
Travis John Turnus, Dean's Honors. Stephen Wayne Wright. Graduates, would you please stand? The Juris Doctor degree is the highest level of professional attainment in the School of Law and represents 90 academic credit hours of advanced study of law. The Master of Laws degree represents an additional 24 academic credit hours of advanced study of, in law. We are proud to welcome 102 Juris Doctor uh, graduates and two master de master's degree graduates as new alumni to the School of Law and Washburn University. On behalf of the entire Washburn University School of Law, I wish to thank you for participating in this commencement exercise. Please jo join us in the Washburn Room of the Memorial Union for a reception. President Farley, honored guests, and members of the audience, please join me in rec recognizing these impressive individuals of the graduating class of 2016 for their accomplishments by offering a round of applause.